Welcome in week six. We keep it moving. Another edition of the NFL Parlay. We appreciate you rolling with us here. And we're going to build a three leg one for you. And then we're going to try and supersize the ever living shit out of it. In this case, though, what we do is build a nice little teaser for you. So there's a difference, right? On this video and only on this video, the supersize element is just a teaser, three leg teaser. And you can go from there. We're also going to tell you how you can turn $10 into 200. It's a simple, easy process. It's going to make it insanely easy for you to start things off at BetMGM with the $200 bankroll. So with all of that said, if you can, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the Odd Shopper channel, the Odd Shopper community, welcome. We are the fastest growing sports betting community across the entire YouTube platform. So go ahead. Everybody's doing it. Hit that subscribe button so you can be part of this community. And then let's look at what we have. All right, now we can do anything we want here. We can play with anything we want to. And the first thing I want to do, because we're building a three-leg parlay, so we can take a liberty or two when it comes to a spread, an alternate spread. So when you look at the Tampa Bay Bucks against the Pittsburgh Steelers, everybody just continues to be out on defense for Pittsburgh. This is an absolute travesty. Matt Canada is the worst play caller in the NFL, and I don't think it's close. So when you start to look at a play here, our first play is just going to be bringing this thing down to the Bucks minus three, not minus three and a half, way too many. An historic amount of football games so far through five weeks have finished at three or fewer when it comes to margin of victory. We're not tempting fate here at all for 25 cents where that hook has been ultra in play. You better believe it. So the first look here is simply dropping the Bucks to minus three. Minus 350, that's a big one, but we'll make it up. I promise you, just bear with me here. Look, Pittsburgh is so bad. By the way, the Bucks defense only giving up 4.7 net passing yards per play. What exactly is Kenny Pickett going to do? And then on the flip side, let's just look at it from a narrative standpoint, because I know you love these out here. You and Raza and the whole non-narrative community. Last week was the Tom Brady divorce. The news coming out, it was way too much. He had to survive the Atlanta Falcons with a controversial roughing the passer call. This week, it's about revenge. And we've seen Brady in these. I don't have a stat or anything like that for you, but anytime Brady's legacy or anytime Brady's name or anytime Brady is called under question, he responds. And he has responded, be it in Tampa or New England prior. So you better expect, because everybody's saying, oh, Brady, get another one. Come on, this guy cheats, everything. You wait. I'm tempted to just lay the nine and a half here. But the reality is, is that we have seen way too often a, yeah, just slam it game end in a what? How the hell do the Giants beat the, uh, the Packers? We're not touching anything here outside of three. That's our first play. Let's keep it moving. Now we go to the Jets Packers game. Speaking of the Green Bay Packers, this one is easy. I, I don't think we need to do much here. We'll lay the seven and a half. What? irresponsible of you, Shander, to lay seven and a half with that hook. Why not push it? There's just no need to. There's no need to push it because the Jets are about as fraudulent as it gets. You think they're three and two and their record says they're three and two? Have at it. But they're really not a good team. There's a difference. You are what your record says. You're three and two. But are you a good team? Does your record indicate that? No. So far, the three wins are against backups two rookies in their very first live action. That's the three wins that the New York Jets have secured. Zach Wilson is back. Oh, Zach Wilson. Did you know Zach Wilson's back? Yeah, yeah, he's back. Watch out. Jets are three and two. Zach, Zach Wilson. Zach attacks back. Zach Wilson is five and 11 straight up. Four of those five wins have come against rookie quarterbacks. Rookie quarterbacks. Matt LaFleur is 10 and 0. Straight up against the spread, following a loss. That's it. Like he's 10 and 0, straight up against the spread, following a loss. And each one of those games, he's won by eight or more points. Sign me up. By the way, you want to see what that minus 350 is now? We're at plus 145. But wait, there's more. You start to look at the board here. You start to look, you start to think what exactly is going on. Where can we get an advantage? Where can we get an angle? 
Is it the Cowboys Chiefs? Is it the Bill, pardon me, the Bills Chiefs, the Cowboys Eagles? No, it's it's actually the Panthers Rams. And this we are going to push. It's at 10 right now. I am going to push it just to see, and I'll show you the difference, okay? Let's see what happens when you start to add three points at plus 13. Now, Bucks minus three, Packers minus seven and a half, Panthers plus 13. We're at plus 303. This was at 11 at one point. If you want to split the difference and get it at 12, you're at 320. Because there's not that significant much of a difference, right? As you see, 303, 320. The Panthers at plus 12 is what we'll play here. And that's our baseline NFL parlay of the week. Tampa Bay Bucks minus three, Green Bay minus seven and a half, Carolina plus 12, and that gets you plus 320. Now, we're going to tease this in a second. So uh, I want you to just hang with me real quick. But before we do that, just a reminder here, what's going on below? BetMGM, you can turn $10 into $200. It's the easiest thing you will do today. And I have the ability for you to do it simply by just clicking this link below. And you can click that link below. It's going to bring you on over to, to BetMGM. And from there, you deposit whatever you want. Doesn't matter. You can deposit whatever you like. Your first wager is going to be 10 bucks. And that $10 is going to be on any NHL money line. Doesn't matter what it is, any NHL money line. And here's the beauty. The team doesn't even need to win. What? You're telling me that I place a $10 wager on any NHL money line action and the team doesn't even need to win in order for me to make my $200 in my account. Absolutely. All you need. That's it. One thing. Both teams, right? Not even both. Sorry. No. Either. Either team to score. And that's $200 right back into your account. So look, a, a lot of you are just not on DraftKings. We know you're not on and BetMGM and, and other books. So in this case, we've got one for you here on BetMGM. And it's a pretty simple opportunity for you to jump in. I'll remind you about that one more time. I want to build a teaser here for you, though, before we get out, right? I, I just want to look at how we can take advantage of a teaser more so than supersizing something as we've already done. You start to look, by the way, this line moved because Andy Dalton is starting, sign me up. Cincinnati Bengals laying 10 on the road? No, sir. That's not a reality that I think happens in most planets, be one of them being Earth. Definitely not taking a shot there. Cincinnati, again, you start to look at what's going on with the Bengals this year. I'm looking at more about the Saints because Andy Dalton, 2-0, straight up against the spread versus the Bengals. And going back and forth, three points with Andy Dalton. Yeah. Joe Burrow, 7-7-1 seven, seven and one straight up, 10-4-1 ATS off a loss or tie in the regular season. That's something you have to deal with, the ATS record. But that ATS is three, not 10. You bump this up, New Orleans plus 10 at home, and I'm sorry, it's pretty difficult to say no to that. At the same time, we're going to drop the Packers now, minus seven and a half, down to a half a point. All the Packers need to do is win at home, avenge that loss to the other New York squad by just beating the Jets, who we told you, Zach Wilson, four of his five wins have come against rookie quarterbacks. That's it. That's all. All right, I'm going to sneak this one in here. This one here is also going to move to 12 and a half. The Giants at home, plus 12 and a half, not getting blown out by Baltimore. You don't tease totals, but if you were going to bump this up, this would be the game. You just never do that. The reality, though, is that Don Martindale knows everything about Lamar Jackson and this Baltimore offense. Does he have the talent to slow down Lamar and that offense? Probably not. Does he have the scheme? Yes, he does. Does he have the knowledge? Yes, he does. And Daniel Jones is dealing with a bunch of nobodies that he's throwing a football to, but credit the Giants because they've been able to survive injuries all over that wide receiver position. So that doesn't do much for me at all. Bumping them up to a 12-point, 12 12-and-a-half-point 12 point dog at home where their D.C. knows everything about the star quarterback, I'll take that. This is a perfect spot for Tampa Bay right now to drop to three. As we told you earlier, that's the baseline play, and that's it. So let's look at this teaser here. Seven point teaser is going to be plus 200. That's a two to one payout right there. Saints plus three, Packers minus seven and a half, Giants plus five and a half, Bucks minus 10. Seven point teaser brings the Saints to a 10 point home dog. The Packers 
to a minus half point home favorite, the Giants to a 12 and a half point home dog, and the Bucks down to a three point road favorite against Kenny Pickett and the TJ Watt less Pittsburgh Steelers. Hey, appreciate you rolling with us. Let's go ahead and cash. <laughs> 